In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH4OH plus CH3COOH. This is ammonium hydroxide. This is acetic acid. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, the molecular equation, it's already balanced. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So NH4OH, these ammonium compounds are very soluble. We're at AQ after that. And then Acetic acid, that's a weak acid. It will dissolve in water. It won't dissociate into its ions, but it's still going to be aqueous because it'll dissolve. Ammonium compound, we have the acetate. This is very soluble. Put an AQ. And then water, that's a liquid. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Since we have this very soluble ammonium compound, this is going to dissociate into NH4 and the ammonium ion, the whole thing has a one plus charge. The hydroxide has a one minus. So NH4 plus, I'll write the states at the end, plus the hydroxide ion, OH minus, plus for acetic acid here, this is a weak acid. So it dissolves, but it doesn't dissociate into its ions. So in net ionic equations, we're going to keep this together. A little bit dissociates, but very little since it's a weak acid. So we write CH3COOH. We don't split that apart. Those are the reactants. For the products, we said the ammonium ion, one plus, and then the whole acetate ion here is one minus. So we'll split this apart. Since it's a strong electrolyte, we have the ammonium ion plus the acetate ion. And then for water, we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations, so that'll just be H2O. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're the ions on both sides. So on both sides, I see in the reactants, we have this ammonium ion. We can cross that out, but everything else is unique, and that will be our net ionic equation. So I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation for NH4OH plus CH3COOH. So this is our net ionic equation for ammonium hydroxide plus acetic acid. You'll note that charge is balanced. On this side, we have a total charge, just this negative charge here. Then on the products, we have a negative charge. That's balanced. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on both sides. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium hydroxide plus acetic acid. Thanks for watching.